I'm Scott Taylor, the uh, regional sales agent for Puckerjet in Switzerland. We're here at uh, Food and Hotel China on the, uh, the Oriental uh, Shanghai Enterprise stand, uh, who's our exclusive distributor for Puckerjet in, uh, in China. Here on the stand we feature our two units, Puckerjet 1 and Puckerjet 2. Uh, Puckerjet 2 has been in the market for approximately three years now and it's a revolutionary uh, step forward in uh, the Puckerjet design process. The major differences between the Puckerjet 1 and the Puckerjet 2 is the new brushless motor. So the brushless motor allows uh, a quieter operation, a uh, more efficient operation of the motor and as such Puckerjet is offering an additional four year warranty uh, when a Puckerjet 2 is uh, purchased. The Puckerjet 2 essentially is um, a, a micro pureeing uh, machine that micro purees fresh frozen products. Puckerjet allows a chef to be creative and do their own flavours uh, that are unique to every other restaurant in the area. Uh, Puckerjet produces not only great ice creams and sorbets, that's certainly a product that Puckerjet is renowned for around the world, but also great uh, savoury items like uh, uh, mousses and farces, uh, soup concentrates, sauce concentrates, some lovely flavoured butters and flavoured uh, olive oils and of course now we're getting into more jellified products as well. So we're using fresh foods that we uh, freeze and pucketize. We add gelling agents and then we can then set them into moulds. So for example, for care catering, for aged care and hospital uh, situations where a customer cannot uh, or a patient cannot uh, eat solid foods, they can be presented with a meal that looks like proper food, but it, uh, it, uh, it, it, it's very easily digested. Um, a lot of modern restaurants are also using jellified products for modernising their food. So as an example, we can have uh, some lovely roasted uh, spiced vegetables that we freeze and pucketize. We jellify it and we set it flat. We cut different shapes and then we can reheat it and place it around the, the, the plate. Um, when the customer then eats that with their protein, their chicken or their beef, it just melts in their mouth. So it really gives intense flavours, intense colours, but certainly a lot different uh, texture profiles. One of the products we're doing uh, today at um, the Food and Hotel China is uh, some mango sorbet. It's uh, using fresh mangoes and um, uh, what we're, all, we, all we need now is some, some nice juice, some, maybe some apple juice and a little bit of sugar to give us our sorbet. How the Puckerjet works is we have a pucketizing blade. The blade spins at 2,000 cycles per minute and that, uh, that helps us with the, um, the micro pureeing uh, process. We have a spray guard that the uh, blade fits into. It sits into the machine like this. We have our beaker of uh, fresh frozen product. We place that into the outer beaker. That's then put onto the Puckerjet. We select pucketizing frozen products. Now, with the Puckerjet, we can choose whether we're going to pucketize the full beaker by hitting start, or we can select portion by portion, where we can we can be very accurate with how much we pucketize. So accurate, in fact, that now with Puckerjet 2, we can do part portions as well. So once we've selected how much we, we want to pucketize, we hit the start button, and we can select um, put, putting air into the product or leaving air out. When we're talking about ice creams, um, automatically air is pushed into the product, but with ice creams, in a lot of situations, chefs don't want to put air in because it leaves you with a, a, a thicker, denser ice cream that uh, doesn't melt so fast. So when you're plating an ice cream on a dessert, you want to hold it straight for longer so it doesn't start melting by the time you walk it to the table.